hope that you have had a wonderful holiday season and a joyful start to this new year. And if that has not been the case for you, that's okay. It's all right. We are just so glad that you're still here. So, have you made your New Year's resolutions? <laughs> Don't worry, neither have I. As a matter of fact, I've become a bit ambivalent about New Year's resolutions, and for many years, I decided not to make them. And that's just because the sweeping, revolutionary goals that I set for myself in the glow of fireworks and new beginnings rarely translated into tangible results when I got to the end of the year and looked back over the year. Why is that? I think that's because, well, life. So much can happen that can change the trajectory of our plans and our goals. This pandemic, by the way, being a very good example. But the other reason is that it's really hard to change habits. It's hard to lose 10 pounds and to start a new exercise program. It takes determination and courage to quit smoking or to get organized or to save more money or to organize our crazy schedules to allow for more time with friends and family or a new hobby. It just makes one want to give up on resolutions, don't you think? However, on the other hand, do we really want to go through 2022 without a single resolution, without even trying to do better. So that's why I've decided that this year I will be setting some resolutions, but resolutions with a twist. Not those sweeping, life-changing, get rid of all my habits, res bad habits, resolutions that I just know I won't be able to keep. No, I'm not doing that this year. This year, I'm going for smaller, more manageable, measurable resolutions that will bring me joy, goals that I'm happy about, and that are flexible enough to adjust to life's inevitable changes. I plan to give myself grace and to really enjoy this year. You know, we at the health and wellness team thought we could provide you with just such tips, just small adjustments that can be incorporated into your daily routine and that will hopefully enhance your life. That's why we're so excited about this new series. It's called My Daily Fix. It's in collaboration with Dr. Isaac Sun and the Happy Family BSI. This new series will provide tips such as morning exercises and breathing, the best way to use text and use your phone, you know, exercises for those weary wrists using so much of the keyboard and so much more. And we really hope that you'll decide to join us. My name is Dr. Esther Martin, wishing you health and wellness for this new year. And may all of your hopes, all of your dreams, all of your plans, and all of your resolutions, may they come true. Be well.